But university education used to be about just education and research for the sake of it. So, for example, the two scientists who discovered DNA would never have discovered DNA under the current research and funding grants that are available at university because all research has to lead to somewhere. And, of course, knowledge for knowledge's sake doesn't lead to anywhere. And so the same thing is happening at art schools where artists aren't really experimenting anymore. And pretty much from their first or second year in art school, they're looking at what they can make to put into the market to become financially viable to afford to rent a studio. So in a, in a way, it kind of normalises everything. Everything becomes very, very sort of blunt, has no edges to it. So that knowledge for knowledge's sake, what has the art, art education become? Has it become uh, basically a launch pad into the market? The collectors and the speculators must love that because they see product coming out already that they know that they can make money on. Well, there's that, and also, but also the fact is you can't really go and study at art school now unless you can read and write very well because you have to um, write a dissertation. And originally, art schools would take on people who might have difficulties in reading and writing, and that's why they're so good at art and painting and drawing. But nowadays, you know, if you have severe dyslexia or other learning problems and you were, your natural skills would be towards drawing and painting, you've got a real problem going to art school because all the art courses, the degree courses that didn't have writing or writing a dissertation as part of their degree have all been uh, stopped. So Chelsea used to do an MA, you didn't have to write a dissertation for, you just had to make the work. And surely if you're painting or sculpting, the most important thing is the work, not what you think about what happened in Florence 500 years ago. Mm -hmm.